Uh, 2005, of course, famous day for you. There's so many uh, landmark moments throughout your career. The grand final against West Coast, arm wrestle the whole way, a couple of great years and great games you two played against one another. How vivid are your memories of, of this and all of your friends? Take us through the final moments. They're so frantic, the final moments of this. Well, you saved this year. Take well, us through the moments. What are you deliberate. Think? What are you no. thinking? <laughs> I was saying you before, they used to hand out Mark of the Year on Door of the Year, and Ashley Sampy had won it. So I'm in the hotel room watching Ashley Sampy Mark get Mark of the Year. I was playing at him at the time. <laughs> and I remember kicking the ball earlier, and I saw Sampy, and I said, shit, he's going to mark the ball, he's going to win the game from. So I've just beelined for Ash, and I've just... Assaulted him. You assaulted him. Well, let's... And, and, can we and it is one of the great travesties, because you're just... Great travesty. Out. Look at that. Play on. Play on. <laughs> Play on. I tell you what, it would have been a ballsy umpire that had gone... <laughs> when did you first see, because clearly that vision, you've got no idea what's going on behind you. You're in the middle of all this humanity. When did you first see Leo's mark? I, I didn't. I, I was on the ground. I got cut yeah. in the head, actually. It was the one contest I was ever in in my career. And it was, I got cut and I turned around and it was like, what's happened? Where's the ball? I had no idea who'd marked it. I got up off the ground and Leo's walking back. And then I'd heard the siren. I reckon I must, I must have been the first person in the stadium to hear the siren because I've jumped on Leo's back. Yeah. And Leo actually tells a story um, about when it happened. He'd marked it and he was going back. And he thought he was called play on because he didn't hear the siren. No, he jumped in his back celebrating. He actually thought it was play on. He's called play on itself. So it was a. And I'm, 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 I'm Troy Root and Leo in the MCG. <laughs> <laughs> in front of 100,000 people telling them how much I love him. <laughs> the end of a uh, 72 year drought. Yeah. But West Coast supporters, they've got a very long memory. Oh, yes. uh, they, they remember what you did to Sampy. And here's a sign <laughs> on a fence 17 years later. <laughs> 17 years. <laughs> 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 17. And they reckon the Irish can hold a grudge. And I'll tell you Andrew what. Andrew Sampy has been going to every game with that sign. <laughs> really has been. Great to see you again. Thank, thanks for Andy, coming. before you go, we always like to give our guests a gift. And, and you know, we were just talking about the 2005 grand final, and everyone Tosca, says that Leo, Leo Barry is the hero. You know what? I think Tig needs to put this up in his pool room because Tig was the hero at the end there. I think right there, <laughs> the greatest free kick that was never paid. Look at that. There it is, Hang sir. Thanks for coming on the show. Tig and Elliot, special guest. Don't go anywhere. More front bar. Great work.